Right, so we have a petition out there that at least 7,500 people have signed already to keep... 7,500? Yes, at least, the last time I checked, about an hour ago. Um, and that was to keep spring break in the traditional format, one consecutive week off, not four scattered days throughout the semester. We should include the fact that yesterday, and again, the meeting was fairly contentious. In fact, it got so out of hand, they kind of had to end it early. But the Senate voted uh, to, uh, to cancel spring break. Having said that, uh, you've got this online petition, and uh, the, the, in lieu of spring break, they're saying, well, we'll have these rest and recovery days. We're going to have one here. We're going to have one there. You're saying no. you got to put them together. And, and, and this isn't a, a, a necessarily about going away again and bringing back problems uh, associated with COVID. I need this time not just to catch up mentally. Exactly. And so with all this online learning, we have students sitting on a laptop five plus hours a day in classes. So one, one day every now and again is not enough for a mental break. You definitely need the four consecutive days to just put the laptop aside or maybe catch up on schoolwork, on projects, essays, research that you have to do that the normal pace of school it makes it a little bit more difficult. To, okay, to okay. we've of. got an online petition going. We've got a protest going. Uh, fall on deaf ears, or do you think there are enough students here uh, that can make a difference with uh, somebody making a decision as to change it? And give us, give us a spring break and give us the admonition that please don't travel. Use it to catch up, get your mental health in order, and also catch up on your studies. Well, we're certainly giving it our best shot. I can't say that the university or the administration has been very receptive to student uh, input and, and other issues, but we just got to keep trying.